Chinese medicine that I uh, forgot to eat and it's been about like maybe more than half a year or maybe even a year and so I kind of found it and I can't eat it anymore because like it's been around for so long but uh, what if I make it into some art? So let's see how it goes. I'm gonna paint with my Chinese medicine today. And of course, the best thing that you should do is to eat your Chinese medicine. But in my case, well, I've got my Chinese medicine here and I'm just gonna add some hot water. Let's see if it's still, oh. This is why I don't eat my Chinese medicine because of the smell. This, oh, the smell. Oh. This is really why I don't eat my Chinese medicine. Okay, it's still not like complete, completely dissolved, but I'm just gonna try for now. So it has this murky brown color. Okay, in this case, I'm gonna try, since it's Chinese medicine, I'm gonna go for a Chinese feel. Okay, I have brought out my mat, which is a traditional thing for a rice paper drawing, and let's see what kind of drawing we can have today. I am just gonna go with whatever is brown. Okay, first let's draw a brown cat. <laughs> Imagine this brown cat to be on a brown mat. some dry Chinese medicine to have a textured effect on the trees. I decided to add some lines for more clarity in the drawing. I was really wondering whether the Chinese medicine would stick, but I think it stuck on pretty well, the sprinkles. Here I wanted to try something different with the remaining packet of Chinese medicine to see if I can create a 3D effect by having it really 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 thick. Here I started putting the mixture onto my cat and see if I can get the cat shape, which was a little bit difficult actually. was a really weird looking bunny so I decided to shape it a little bit with some tools and see if that would help. So I started making the face with the toothpick and I was really happy that um, when I put in the holes it actually didn't close up and stayed as holes. what I ended up with and I'm quite happy with my Chinese medicine art and now I'm gonna wait and see what it looks like when it's dried and if the cat can keep its shape. So this is one day after and I am back in the studio and he, this little cat has completely dried. You can see it's pretty dry. It's like but it's kept the texture and you see like I made little marks with toothpicks on his face and it's still pretty clear like it pretty much 
just stayed the way when I like the same as I when I finished it. So I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. And like when I smell it, like if I come up really really close, like I can still smell the Chinese medicine smell. But if I'm like from this normal distance, I can't smell it at all. So I think it's a success. I'm really happy with how this turned out like my Chinese medicine painting and the Chinese medicine cat. So um, I wouldn't suggest you doing this, but <laughs> this is a lot of fun and I'm so glad I did this. So glad I gave this a try. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.